Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. Thank you for subscribing and like our videos. So this is the second video of the series of meditation. So this is these videos um, we are thinking to put it like in a progression way. So then you know what to do and how to start, how you can start your path into meditation, which are the benefits are fantastic. I think like um, at the beginning when I started meditating, I wasn't sure. And um, sometimes people is like, uh, oh, you don't need to think in anything or you need to do this or do that and then after was very difficult like uh, for me to concentrate but then I uh, learned with different people and with different um, teachers and then the most important is when we start to simplify the way to meditate because sometimes teachers made it so complicated that everybody give up you know because we do, what we don't know is that some of us our minds are very very busy and we are not used to, to slow down. So when they tell us like, a, close your eyes and don't think in anything, it's just like, a, it's impossible. As soon as we close the eyes, more thoughts come in and we feel more desperation and more stress. So that's why in this series, it's like a, four videos, this is going to give us the tips to start with this process, mental process, which is to, to help us to slow down and to keep calm, which is the most important. Of course, if one day you are angry, frustrated, sad, it's better you don't meditate. Change your mood, take time for yourself, and then go. Because it's very difficult. Like uh, if you're very angry and say, I'm going to meditate, I'm going to relax, I'm going to relax. Well, your nervous system is all over the place, so it's going to be very difficult. So first we need to cool down the nervous system, and then it comes. Now some people ask, Where is the which one is the best time to meditate? It doesn't really matter which time, but of course it helps more when it's in a quiet times of the day. So always the early morning or the night time, it will help us because everything is slow down, everything is slow down and it's quiet as well. So definitely it will be easier to concentrate. But it doesn't matter, like for example, if you are working and you just need a break, you even can go into the toilet and just close your eyes, take a couple of breaths, <laughs> of course it's not the best place, or go to the balcony, or go to any place, you just take a couple of breaths, practice your breath using the hand or the sensation to fog a glass, and calm down your breath, take a few minutes in that stage, and that will help you, okay? So let's start today. So today we learn how to slow down our breath, which is one of the first principles because that will help us to relax. But the most important, bring the concentration concentration into the present moment. How did you get on with your practice? I hope you went well and you practice and you really feel the difference. And please uh, write in the comments, how did you get on with this practice? Just with the breaths. First, it's very simple. One, two minutes, just listen to my breath, practice this breath and then enjoy breath and then see what's going on okay so we're just gonna keep moving so now we have now how to set our breath now what we are gonna do today is we are gonna concentrate more in our mental process okay so let's start remember you can always before you can do some stretches in your head you know to release your neck you can do some stretches in your back you know just to release you can twist you can other side twist any stretches you need to do you don't you don't start the session with the body tense so we're gonna just refresh a little bit the concepts we saw the last video so number one it was important to be sitting uh, to be in a sitting position that is comfortable for us that we really feel comfy, that we don't have pain, that we don't have any stress in our back, in our legs, anywhere. So we can sit on a chair or on the ground, depends on everybody. Now we can always keep our feet on the floor in this position if it's more comfortable for us. Remember, no positions that are no, that you don't feel good, okay? For me, I like the crossing legs in this way because 
it makes me more comfortable to have my back straight, but it's always the pain of your mobility and your flexibility in your legs. So again, don't worry about the position. Just sit on a chair, keep your feet on the ground. So remember, we need to keep our back straight so our lungs can expand fully but also for the energy in our spine. So our spine works with electrical impulse. So that means we are energy. So imagine that your spine is like a cable and the electricity is running up and down. So if that cable is folding, that it's gonna make the energy, down and the, energy the energy won't conduct in the same way. So that's why it's important to be, have our back straight. So help yourself. Sit on a chair. Make sure that you use your back of the chair to, to keep your back straight or use the wall if you are sitting on the ground. This is one of the benefits to do yoga because it helps us to keep our back straight. So don't forget that we have some videos to as well practice yoga to release our body. So let's start. Okay. So whenever you are ready, take your comfy position. Now our hands I'm gonna keep your hands. I'm gonna give you another mudra, which is good for us. So the mudras are hands position that help us for concentration and for energy conduction. So me personally, I like the one hand at the top of the other one and the thumbs together, or sometimes separate, which is more for the Buddhist, which is called the boat uh, pose. You make like a little canoe with your hands. Any hand at the top, whatever is comfortable for you. So try both and see which one you feel more comfy. And that is the right hand for you. Or we can still come back to this mudra that we did the last time. Okay? So whatever is comfy for you. Some of you are familiar with mudra. It's okay. It is whatever you have. Oh, you don't want any mudra. You just rest your hands and relax your fingers. So any moment, let's start. And remember, open yourself. Open yourself at what I'm going to feel, how it's going to change my mo emotional stage, my mental stage. So we close our eyes. We listen our breath, your normal breath. Still don't activate the throat. You feel the air coming in and out. Feel your back straight, relax your shoulders, be aware of the right and the left side of the body, there is balance, and slowly we're going to start, let's take a few exhalations through the mouth, so it will help us to activate again the Ujjayi breath, inhale through your nose, Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again. And exhale. Now keeping your eyes closed this time, when we inhale, we're going to say, so, and when we exhale through the mouth, ham. So let's go together. So, ham. This time we create a singing sound. Inhale, so. Without sound, close your mouth, still have the sensation that you want to say so and ham, but without making any noise, just the sound of your breath. Inhale, so, exhale, ham, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now we're going to come back to the rhythm. 
inhale for four, exhale for four without the activation of your throat with the same sensation of saying so and how. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Keep going with your rhythm. Keep your eyes closed. And then by slowing down the breath, we come back to this stage of focusing in the present moment. Keep with your breath. Remember that in this moment, your mind starts to be active, send you ideas, emotions, memories. It's normal. You keep moving your attention into your breath. Don't try to be blank. Let the mind do their own job. But you move your attention every time you hook in any of your thoughts into your breath. And we try to maintain this stage of concentration into the present moment. Don't fight with your mind. If your mind keep going with the same thought, the same idea, might to be a worry, might to be a decision that you need to take, it's okay. You bring back again your attention onto your breath. We listen our air in and out. Remember that our mind is used to, to think and overthink. To change the habit, it's going to take time for the brain. So it's very normal that when we come into the stage of meditation or when we start meditation, our brain becomes more active. It's okay. You keep moving and keeping your attention into your inhalation and exhalation. And each inhalation and exhalation is a new present moment. Maintain this awareness into the present moment. Now today, be aware of which emotions arise into your mind. If there is emotion or abandon, if there is a little bit of resentment, if there are Sadness, if there is sadness, any emotion you have at the moment, be aware of it. And we don't want to erase our memories or don't feel certain emotions. We are both positive and negative. We just try to understand them. We just try to accept them and be aware of what is the origin, which one is the origin of those emotions. If it's sadness, might be something there that we cannot accept, that it wasn't for us. If there is anger, understanding that we all made mistakes and we are all ignorant at some point. And I don't mean like uh, don't feel that anger, 
but don't keep it for too long. Understand your emotions, learn from them, and let them go. So we do the comparison with the digestive system. We're going to taste experience. Some of them yummy, tasty, some of them bitter. We need to swallow them. Take what we need and let them go. So then we don't take it so personal, the experience and how people might react into those experience. We accept them. We understand. And every time you take your the beginning of your meditation, be aware what are the emotions. are stronger that a specific day each day and again taste that motion swallow it digest it take what you need and let it go because there are experiences to grow, to learn. Keeping your eyes closed slowly, bring your hands onto your lower tummy below your belly button. And we affirm in our minds. I understand my emotions. I feel them, but I direct them. I understand that the emotions are to live, are to experience, but as well, we can let them go. And any time that you have an emotion that you feel that you cannot move on, bring your hands into your lower tummy and repeat this process of taste it. Remember, some of them are not going to taste nice. Swallow them. That is going to give us a strength, understanding. Digest them. We all learn from the experience. That is the way of life. But we let them go. We don't hold them. We don't store us. We don't make them us. So you slowly release your hands from your tummy. And very smooth. We're going to take four deep breaths again to come back. Inhale deep and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Just one more. Slowly open your eyes. How you feel? Remember that this is a process. The important is that we understand, we are aware what we have inside and what things we need to let them go. To hold in the past is just going to make us sad. And to try to catch the future is going to make us anxious. So again, meditation helps us to learn to stay in the present moment. No matter what is the mind, my breath. I'm here in the present moment. 
So thank you for joining us. So this is kind of the next path, next step. So again, take you to two minutes. Maybe now it's going to be five minutes. Listen your breath. Slow down the breath. Concentrate on your breath. And then be aware. How are my emotions today? And then try to do the process. Taste them. Swallow them. Digest them. And let it go. And we will find more freedom, more and more freedom, and more enjoyment in our life. Thank you, everybody, to join us. Hope you like it, and we'll see you soon. Namaste.